All right, we're back with more Tariq Ibn Infinite Unit Spam. Lol. Anyway, let us uh, divide and conquer. 713 AD, year 91 of the Hagira. The meeting between Tariq and Musa was strange to witness. The respect between the two is considerable, but there is an air of competition, of rivalry. The Caliph has ordered that Tariq and Musa return to Damascus, but they refuse to be robbed of their glory. Dividing the army, Tariq strikes north, while Musa targets the city of Saragossa. Recognizing our might, a local Visigoth lord, Theodemir of Mercia, has pledged us his support. Home to a strong army and a thriving economy, Mercia will be a potent ally. However, we have a new and dangerous enemy. Elio of Asturias, a Visigoth nobleman, has rallied what was a fractured resistance into a formidable adversary. In his dominion in Asturias, a large army gathers, preparing to attack. If we can weather the storm that is sure to come, with the blessing of Allah, we may even be able to conquer as far as Septimania. Okay. Destroy the castles in uh, Zaragoza and Narbonne. The Umayyad Berber army can advance to the Imperial Age and support a population at limit of 200. You can see we already have a, a ton of army to start with. Your bases, are, your bases are divided and cannot be connected until the two southernmost Asturian fortresses are destroyed. Um, difficult as it might be, preserving both bases is vital due to their economic and strategic value. Eh, uh, nah. You can ignore the Kingdom of Asturias if you like, but if you can, uh, but its control of strategic locations and constant raids on your flank might make them a necessary target. Each Asturian fortress is also home to a precious holy relic. In addition to being a potential trade partner, uh, Theodemir of Murcia will occasionally provide your armies with tribute and military support. The Mediterranean Sea is abundant with fish, and there is a trade route and gold on the Balearic Islands. All right, so we have two uh, we have two camps, one in the west and one uh, kind of in the south. Uh, to the far south lies uh, Murcia. Uh, Zaragoza is kind of in the the center of the map. Uh, Narbonne is to the like northeast of the map, and Asturias is kind of just like sprawling if you see here with my cursor, like kind of all over here. And then uh, the Balearic Island is just the locals, and they are to the far east. Our armies are poised yeah. to launch an offensive yeah. across uh -huh. the Ebro yeah. Valley yeah. and into Septimania. The cities of Zaragoza and Nabon stand in our way. Let them feel the wrath of our army. Yeah. 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 As usual in these campaigns, you start with like everything super scattered and hard to sort of get yourself wrapped around. One of every unit. My lord, the Odemir of Machia has pledged us his allegiance and promises to periodically provide us with tributes and soldiers. Okay, um... Hopefully we are somewhat getting our act together. Somewhat. Should have some light cav here. Um, we have a pop limit of 200, but only 18 villagers right now. Okay. So we're, what we're going to do is try and get up to four TCs, as well as utilize yeah. some fishing chips. Rely on some castles to help defend us. You can see that Astorias and Narbonne are already in the Imperial Age. Narbonne. Uh, whereas Zatagosa isn't really much of a threat. Azul. I like how they're they're green. Like oh wait no because they change it uh, as as we'll see at El Cid later they changed uh, Zatagosa because that's where Motamid is in El Cid. Changed it to being Cyan. Damn it. I cry every time. 
Anyway, let's get our fourth TC down over here. You can see that uh, orange is here to the south. Theodemir. And he won't really help us much at all. But he will occasionally tribute to us, I think, like 500 gold. And give us, like, some champions and huskarls. And as you can see by the enemy scores, uh, they all have infinite resources. So, no point in trying to attack early, because... What's the point? Do I have a market? Yes, I do. I can get a castle up. So, uh, the game said that, you know, these two bases are critical to control for their critical to control for their strategic value or whatever um nah. the base we have here on the coast is much more important in my opinion cuz uh, narbon is impossible to be targeted directly cuz you need to go through either zaragoza or um uh, asturias But uh, this one here, this base on the Mediterranean, can target Saragossa. It's like right up here. So we're at least starting to get our economy up and underway. Uh, Narbonne will attack you quite heavily on the, uh, the ocean, so having some sort of defense against that is a good idea. Frickin' broken wagon, taking up farm space. Yeah. So we'll just gonna, you know, kind of boom a little bit, wait until we can get up to around Imperial Age, start getting some trebs out and running. Because remember, we only need to snipe the castles to win, which is why we're not really gonna bother with taking down uh, the Kingdom of Asturias. Because it's, it's only really about sniping castles. And it's just one castle each and then the, the enemy resigns. Well, except for Asturias, but they're not really, uh, you don't need to beat them. Oh, do I still have this TC? Rallied over here? No. Get a little bit more stone income. And, you know, make some, some sort of good Berber army of camel archers and knights and camels and whatever. Some more fishing ships. We offer what we can. Oh, wait. I'm totally getting overrun right here. Probably shouldn't queue up uh, fishing ships. Anyway, uh, yeah, so you get, what, five Huskarls and five champions? Not too big of a deal, but sure, why not? Oh, this is actually rather a lot of, uh, enemy ships. Wait, why are... Attack! Huh, I don't remember them being this aggressive on water. Um, let's just do this. Be a little bit creative. Uh, 
We will drive your Moorish scum from our beloved home. I need them to me. Prepare me. Nah, I'm good. I kind of want to just keep booming. This should help us out a fair bit. Then we can even do stuff like get guard tower and heated shot. Because it's not worth investing in the water that much since we can't get cannon galleons. And it's not like we have ecos to raid. We're already on four PCs on the land. Get guard tower. And click up to him pretty soon. Beautiful farm. I'm not in the, like any, you know, particular rush. Okie dokie. Oh yeah, heat shot I should get. Kind of expensive, 350 food. Pretty pricey. But it is super good, you know, plus 125% attack for these towers. Plus four attack for castles. Whoa, jerk. Also gonna actually prep some siege workshops. Let's try uh, as well start with some camel archer production. Yeah, I want a few more bells. So yeah, this base is nice mostly for the mineral resources it provides, but once we mine those out, it doesn't really matter. It's not like the other bases um, are like super lacking in that department. Anyway, I like camel archers. They are great. So yeah, you can see Zaragoza's right here. Not especially worried about them. Although we're still dealing with infinite unit spam, this one can be done in, at least in my experience, much faster than, oh, than some of the other ones in this campaign. Nice thing about Elite Camel Archer is it does not cost food, it just costs wood and gold. I was kind of relying on my castle tanking everything for the time being. And this tower is helping out a bit. Yes, I'll go over to gold. Oh. Please, they should get some knights for the Cavaliers. Or, so, get some knights for the Cavaliers. Get some knights for the Huskarls. There we go. That makes significantly more sense. Oh, voice crack! 
It's a little hairy right now. We all thought it was weak. That should be plenty stable. Plenty enough of stables. Those guys out and running. Really? You guys can't be a little bit more creative in how you mine this gold? Well, this is somewhat annoying. But you can see that our defensive apparatus is by and large proving sufficient. Oh! That I should deal with. Send these random infantry units. We'll even get some squires. <laughs> sure. Things are going quite a bit better. Just kidding. This isn't getting trapped, is it? Back to work. Oh, what? Help out your trebs, you fools! One more treb shot should do it. One more treb shot should do it. Oh, blacksmith upgrades. Or let's get my grubby camels. Wait, what? Why did it stop attacking? That's so weird. Oh, whoops. Didn't hotkey these guys. There we go. Now Green should resign. Unfortunately, they don't, like, delete anything, so these units, in, or rather these uh, leftover units or buildings and all that stuff, they're still going to annoy us. But it is nonetheless progress, and I'll take it. Okay, so now what we need to do... Get some villagers, prep another castle and some siege workshops and stuff to the north. 
towards Narbonne. Yeah, these uh, residual units and buildings are pretty annoying. Wait, why are you guys going backwards? <laughs> Guard towers here, man, to deal with these ships. We offer what we can to aid you in your battles. Oh yeah, I forgot these guys benefit from your infantry upgrades. And the Burper Barracks isn't all that bad. Uh, you missed Halberdier, which is obviously kind of the most important one, but you do have everything else. You have all the blacksmith upgrades, you have champions. Guard towers with heated shot are your friends against ships. This is true in both single and multiplayer. I mean, this is against post imp ships too. It's only a guard tower without uh, arrow slits. I'm pretty sure. Oh, never mind. We do get arrow slits. Why did I think we didn't get arrow slits? Yeah, there we go. Even more damage. Anyway, Narbonne's right there. Wait, how did you get all the way over here? <laughs> what? I think you went all the way around. They get a, a, a castle constructed over here. Camel archers are providing some sick fire from the background. Could really use some more army though. Oh, well, let's not get those guys. Needlessly destroyed. Anyway, you can imagine the castles right here. Why are these guys freaking going after houses? Oh, wait, no, there was a ram there, too! Oh, well, this is why we are building the castle here. They really do like sniping your siege. To the castle! At least try and repair those, I guess. Damn it. But yeah, after we get take this castle down, we win. Put the villagers. Some more swork shops. Get another treb. Let's pump out more cavalier. Of 
but unlike the last one, we now have access to the Imperial Age and regular trebuchets, and this is making the whole process much easier. Huzzah! And I'll show you guys the map for all the stuff I skipped out on, just because, I mean, you can win the scenario easily like this, why waste your time? Oh yeah, I guess there's some villagers here as well. Anyway, here are the Astorian fortresses. They're... I mean, it's, it's goth, right? So it's just stone walls. But nonetheless, it's still a lot to take out for very little reward. It's not like they're an insurmountable force that you, you know, just cannot def uh, defend your base from. Zavagosa also had this little... Uh outpost here, I suppose. Oh yeah, also, in case you guys are really starving for gold, you can go out to the Balearic Islands over here. You can trade with their docks, um, for one, and for two, uh, once you go over here, this gold mine will become yours. You can see it's a Gaia gold mine. It's not an, under anyone's control. So then you can mine all the gold you wish. But, you know, you, you saw that I wasn't really struggling. And lots and lots of fish. Here's the rest of Narbonne, I guess. The mania in the Ibro Valley have fallen beneath the heel of our glorious armies. But we have not achieved a complete victory. Sarik and Musa were forced to return to Damascus. And without their leadership, it would be difficult to defeat the Asturians. The future of the conquest looks bleak. I shall continue to chronicle the events ahead. Though I fear that our land may fall victim to invasions and internal strife, like so many other kingdoms before us. Well, that's a bit unfortunate. It actually, I'm pretty sure Tariq is gone, as is Musa. Anyway. Here we have the completed Divide and Conquer, and next... Oh boy, these last two. These last two are... they're really something, but we'll get to crossing the Pyrenees next time.